What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. My name is Nord Trades and today I bring you an update of my long-term account. So we do this, you know, quarterly, sometimes monthly. It is coming to the end of the year, so I do want to bring you uh, you know, weekly or even monthly updates because I am going to be shaving or even getting rid of my whole, you know, portfolio just due to, you know, the end of the year thing and uh, you know, some tax reasons and all that good stuff as well as us getting a new president in January. So, we'll talk about that. Uh, in a second, but uh, well, yeah, let's show the account real quick. So we here where you just logged that uh, logged into the TOS account, uh, and we'll go here actually and show the account. So every time uh, you guys see this account, this changes either it's lower or higher. Uh, this is the update. So uh, Tesla has actually been running. So we'll talk about that in a second. But you can see we're up six hundred nine six hundred ninety three thousand. Uh, in our total position on Tesla, and then 612,000 on Apple, plus 63,000 in that second long-term account. Uh, but you know, Tesla has been running these past few weeks. Um, honestly, ever since you know Biden was announced president, Tesla's caught a lot of momentum. Uh, in the meantime, Apple, you know, it's at 116. If you look at the last, you know, two months, uh, you know, it hasn't really done anything since it split. Yes, we pushed to you know all-time highs tesla did at that you know very day that it split but ever since you know we pulled back uh and just stayed in a range so apple on the other hand has really just been just sitting there whether it's moving anywhere between you know 105 and 120 it pushed to 128 i believe the day that the iphone was announced and then when the iphone was actually announced uh apple ended up pulling back so uh you know Apple stuck here at 116. That's why I'm looking to really get rid of it. Obviously, it's a long-term account, uh, but we'll see. I'm looking to, you know, you know, swing or even, you know, hold on to cash so I can invest on, you know, pullbacks. If we get any pullbacks in the market, it looks like we're just taking off here. As you guys can see, we hit an all-time high in the Dow, which we're at what, like 30,000 here, or you know, on the edge of 30,000. But we did hit the mark of 30,000 on Dow. Uh, and here we are. I mean, Tesla momentum's been killing. Uh, you can see the trade price 402. The stock's at 574. Uh, and you just look at it. We'll take a look at it uh, together. I mean, let's just look at the last 20 days. Like you can see, the stocks uh, went from 104. I mean, uh, 407 all the way up to 575 in less than 20 days. If you count it, it's really just one, two, three, four, five, six. It's really seven days. Um, even if you do the last five days, you could see the low 478 all the way up to 576. So, uh, as you know, Tesla split. You know, so it technically whatever. Let's just say it's moved. If you know, it's just this is like a five, you know a $600 move if it didn't split, and it's really just been killing it. So for a $400 stock to move a hundred and like fifty dollars, I don't. I didn't even look honestly what was the low, but. 380 for a stock to move that much for a 380 eighty dollar stock is kind of crazy and actually if you go a little bit further you could see that right after we split the stock went from 537 all the way down to 308 um and it bounced it actually bounced very strong off that low and pushed all the way to 460 then ended up dropping right back to 350 uh if you guys remember the massive uh the the, the issue that happened with battery day there wasn't really an issue it was just over excitement so uh neo if anybody's investing into you know any other electrical vehicles look at neo like last i mean we could put this on the 20 day as well if you want 27 dollars to 58 you know it's kind of getting out of hand here uh and it worries me when things move up way too fast even if i'm in them you got to think about it like okay if i'm not in would i still invest right now and that's how you have to look at it uh, even though it's long term, it's like, all right, should I get out here and readjust and just wait for a nice little pullback and, you know, get back in. Uh, but we'll see how I take things into effect depending on what happens in the next few days or next few weeks or even, you know, the next month because we're still in November. We still have a, about a month left before the end of the year. So uh, this is the update. I believe the last time we uh, updated this video, it, the profits were 1.1 million. Uh, now it's damn near 1.4. I think we were at 1.4, but here we are at 1.37 million, uh, and the account is almost at 3 million. I think last time, 
I don't even remember honestly. But as you can see, uh, I was looking at Shopify, but Shopify hasn't really been moving. If you take a look at Shop, uh, there's just a whole bunch of things that I'm looking at right now uh, to really just take this money out uh, and hold it, in, you know, in cash or look to put it into other places that uh, have not seen the growth Tesla has in the last 20 days uh, or really the last few weeks. So we'll see. Just wanted to update you guys. This is the update of the account at $1.4 million. And uh, we'll be talking about the update after I sell. And then we'll go over the cost basis uh, down the road at the end of the year. I'll see you guys. Peace.